Hey everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. I'm hoping today's video should be quite short and sweet. I like in the run up to Christmas to try and declutter a little bit. I mean obviously I'm trying all year round to declutter, use things up and try and have less in my life but I think particularly at the end of the year it's just nice to go through things and today we are going through my lip glosses. During the year of 2021, thanks to my project pan, I went through four lip glosses. Four lip glosses left my collection through actually being used up this year, which was really exciting. Ideally, using things up is the main way that I want things to be leaving my collection rather than decluttering them, but sometimes you need to declutter things to allow you to use up what's left. I'm definitely not a lip gloss person so I'm hoping we can maybe be quite vicious with this. Let's get on into it. I have somewhat organised them from sort of brownie nude colours, gingerbreads, pinks, peaches, berries, darks into glitters. That is the setup. Now there are two before we start that are definitely not leaving the collection and that is my Anna and my Elsa lip glosses. These are both in my 2022 project pan so they are definitely staying. So we've got two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I've got 28 lip glosses. I think at the start I'm going to say I would like to declutter at least 10. So this is by Ilamasca and it's the shade Facade. It's quite a sort of grungy, it's this sort of I'm a bit dead kind of colour to put on your lips. It's like got a lot of them. Um, it's quite opaque for a lip gloss. I do quite like that, I, but at the same time, I don't know how much I really use it, but I do, I do enjoy it. That's a maybe. I think we'll just need to maybe swatch all of these and then decide. Then next up, I've got Dior 164 Gold Rain. So that's quite a sort of subtle shimmery gold. Then next up, I've got L'Oreal, this is so old. L'Oreal Glam Shine. Diamond number 117 Nude Carrot, which I obviously used to wear over really dark reds from the looks of it. So that's quite similar to the Dior one actually, but it's been kind of turned a bit red and I can actually smell it from here. This is so, so old. So right, this is definitely going. So that's the first one that is 100% out. Next up, I actually got this in a set last Christmas. It's Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talks. This is, I think, the Jewel Lips one, is that right? So that is that one there. My thoughts are this is so small I could probably finish it up. And it's one of the newer ones in my collection, so it's probably one of the better ones to stay. So I think I'll put that there. Then next up, um, I am just going to get rid of this because, again, it's so, so old. This is from Essie Lauder. It's their high gloss in the shade Blush. I'm not even going to swatch that. That is definitely, that's just going to go. Then next up is the another one from that Charlotte Tilbury set. This is Pillow Talk again, but this is the Collagen Lip Balm or Collagen Lip. What, what This one's the same. What are these called? Collagen Lip Bath. So this is what I'd actually asked for and then I think my gran must have got kind of talked into the gift set by the sales assistant. So that is the Pillow Talk Jewel Lips and that is the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath. So the Jewel Lips, I don't really know if you'll be able to see on the camera. It's got more of a glitter through it, whereas the Collagen Lip Baths are like shiny but they're, they're not glitter infused, they're like a matte shine, if that makes any sense. I'm going to keep that one. Then I've got a few more... Estee Lauders here. In fact, you know, I'm just going to pull out all those Estee Lauders. I'm going to declutter all four of these. I actually had one of these glosses in my project pan in 2021 and I did use it up, but I could definitely feel that it wasn't what it had always been and there was a slightly funny smell to it. Not like enough to make me be like, I'm really worried I'm going to stop using it, but definitely a bit of a funny smell. So I feel like it's just time to, to get rid of all of these. And then that means I can use up the likes of like the Charlotte Tilbury stuff that I just got last year, even though it's now been in my collection for a year and has been largely untouched because I've been project panning other things that were turning. And that is exactly why we're doing this so that I'm not spending my time using up something that's not at its peak whilst other things that are newer and in better condition in my collection are going unused. I'm going to keep this one, Marc Jacobs. Who knows what's going on with Marc Jacobs Beauty? It's such an, it was always such an underrated line and now it just seems to be sort of disappearing and they're saying it's not and it's just going to a new 
like umbrella company and whatever but who knows but I loved so many of their products and this is their lip gloss in Call Me and again it's quite similar to that Ella Mask one in that it's quite an opaque colour that is what that one looks like I think it's so so beautiful it's that sort of gingerbready shade that I just love so much in a lip gloss format so I'm definitely definitely keeping that so so far we have got one two three four five six that we're getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that we're keeping. So we're we're doing all right. Let's see what the rest have in store. I've got this Chanel one. This is the shade, I can't see a name on this, but the shade number is 104. I think that's quite pretty. I'm going to keep that one. Then I've got these benefit ones, which I actually like have had for ages. So this one is called Life on the A-List. And I keep thinking I could use these up, which is why I keep them around, but I've not used them up yet. And I've actually, that's two of the same shade. They're both Life on the A-List. And then this one is called Spiked Punch. And I don't even know if Benefit make these anymore. You know how Benefit seem to cycle products quite quickly. But I do quite like them and I feel like I could use them up at some point. So I think I'll hold on to them for now. I'm definitely going to hold on to this. I got this in a John Lewis goodie bag. And it's another one of the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Baths. And this one is in the shade Peachy Plump. Yeah, it's quite different to that Benefit one in terms of being the two sort of peachy ones that I own. So yeah, I'm going to definitely keep that. I feel like as well with these collagen lip baths, they feel a bit sort of moisturising as well. So I feel like they're, they're definitely more of a lip gloss than they are like a lip balm but I feel like they're kind of a hybrid whereas the likes of the Clarins natural lip perfectors that I love so much definitely for me fall into the lip balms they are more of a treatment product that is why if you're wondering they're not here because they're in with my lip balm products I'm definitely keeping that one another Chanel one next so this is the shade 175 somebody seems to be hammering somewhere in the vicinity so I'm really sorry if you can hear that I'm like come on it's, it's four days to Christmas like we're, we're done surely with the hammering but Apparently not. Oh, that's lovely. And that's particularly lovely for this time of year, I think. I'm definitely, I'm going to keep that one. Oh, I've got six decluttered. I've got four more to try and find to declutter to hit my goal. Get another Illamasca one here. This is the shade Boost. Do you know what? I feel like I'm ready to get rid of that. That was kind of a costumey look almost for me. It looks really cool over my turquoise um Illamasqua lipstick but I feel like my days of going out clubbing are so far behind me because I am an old woman I'm probably never going clubbing on Halloween again like I'm probably only ever going to use that combination at like Rocky Horror or something and I've still got the, the lipstick so I feel like the lipstick on its own it's probably enough the lip gloss will turn more quickly than the lipstick so I feel like we could say goodbye to this one. Get another Chanel one next. This is the shade number 24 Expressive. So this one has a name on it. So this is one of the ones that pops out. Oh, I like that. See, this is the thing. Because I've been project panning those other lip glosses, I've barely used these. I've actually forgotten how nice that one is. That is lovely. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. The problem is there'd be no point in ever putting this into a project pan because you wouldn't be able to measure it. So I do feel sometimes those products somewhat suffer a little bit in that regard. We can do a few more, I think. Nearly at the end of the arm, but get another Dior one. This is the shade 972 Cult. It's like dark writing on a dark background, but that is what it looks like. Oh, I like that as well. Yeah, I really like that. I thought this would be quite easy because I don't feel that I'm a lip gloss, but I feel like I have many fewer lip glosses, to be fair, to that end to start with in comparison to like my lipsticks that numbered into, I think I got them under 100 actually at my in my lipstick declutter, so under 100, but we were well over 100 at one point. Whereas like lip glosses, I think I've always known they're not my favourite, so in that sense, I think they've needed to be really special for me then to buy them. Maybe I underestimated how hard this would be, but I think I want to keep this one. And I know I want to keep this one. So this is one of the MAC lip glasses. It's actually the shade Sin, which is one of my favourite lipsticks. And it's from the Toledo collection. So it's in this really cool packaging, which I have held on to. It comes out and then it's in the little box in the inside. The lip glass itself, it's really old. I probably shouldn't be still using it, but I absolutely adored the packaging on this collection. And I love Sin. It's one of my absolute favourite shades. So yeah, see, it's just that touch deeper again than Dior one. And it's just such a look when you do like a really 
deep glossy lip like that. I'm definitely keeping Sin as well and I think I'm going to go and just wash my arm off have some satisfying glossy movement for a second. So next up we have got Kevin Kwan the lip gloss in Blood Roses. So that's what that one looks like. See I feel like that's one of those ones you sort of think it's going to be quite dark and then it's it's actually not. I feel like maybe I could get rid of this one. I think like I really like the look of a dramatic dark glossy lip like with Max Sin or whatever or I just like lip gloss to be kind of easy and I feel like this is sort of it's going to move and make a mess on my mouth but the colour isn't super fun like the Marc Jacobs one where it's that really opaque colour it's not just like an easy one that if it smears a bit it's not going to matter like the sort of sheer shimmery ones but it's not really like a dark dramatic one either so I think we could get rid of this one. Then I've got another Chanel one next. I don't know if it'll really show on camera but I have had quite good use out of this one in comparison to the many others that have barely been touched and this is shade number 487 yeah see this is a nice one it's kind of the opposite of this where it's it's more shade again so but because it's quite a sort of close to my lip shade it almost becomes one of those sheer easy like it's sheerer than this one but it still has a bit of color but it's just not it's not a dramatic color either so this is this is exactly what I mean when I say like I want a sheer lip gloss, it's not necessarily a light lip gloss but something that I can put on and it'll look kind of natural which I feel this one does. It's just quite nice as well, it's got that sort of shimmer running through it and it's just yeah it's very very pretty this one so I'm going to keep that. Then I've got my full on glitter here from YSL, this is golden gloss it's called, and if you can see that it's like gold writing on a, a glittery gold background but that is what that one is like. So let's have a swatch of that. See, that's going kind of past sheer into really quite glittery rather than just shimmery. And I've got my Elsa lip gloss from my Project Pan is kind of similar in that it's kind of properly glittery and I'm not massively keen on it if I'm honest. I've got quite small lips so I think like a bit of shimmer can be flattering but glitter can kind of emphasise how small they are. See, I feel like the YSL one is even more sort of glittery. And metallic although they also want to get that frosty look to it and I think that's what I don't like about it. Go back to this Dior one here and put that down. See I feel like if I wanted a sort of gold tone to my lip I would maybe reach for the Dior one it's a bit more sort of a bit more subtle and shimmer rather than glitter so I think I'll keep the Dior one and I will get rid of the YSL. Up next we have another Dior lip gloss this one is in the shade Tiara. I should say I think most of my lip glosses have been brought from limited edition collections so I think this has been like a Christmas collection at some point so I don't think you'd still be able to get this. So let's do that one next. Oh that's really pretty actually. Yeah see the Dior ones are just you know they're just that touch sort of more subtle than the full-on glitter ones so I think I will keep this one as well. Lastly I have got the Lipstick Queen lip gloss in the shade Hello Sailor. So this is one of these ones that looks blue in the tube but then it's not really blue on your lips and it's supposed to like make your teeth look whiter and stuff. Like it does have a blue tinge but that kind of gets lost when you actually put it on. I think with this one I don't know it's kind of one of those ones I feel like I could go through that quite quickly and work if I decided to put it in a project pan. But at the same time on the flip side that's why I'd be keeping it is because I feel like I could go through it quite quickly. Not necessarily quickly but like effortlessly using it in work for a project pan but at the same time on the flip side again because we are wearing masks at the moment we kind of thought by this time this year that might be done but it's not so we don't know how long we're going to be doing that for. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of my lipstick so maybe having a few extra lip glosses isn't actually the worst case scenario here. I might hold on to that. So if I held on to that I'd be getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is just short of, I was hoping to get rid of 10. So I'd be getting rid of 9, but I also know those two are going to leave my collection this year because they are in my project pan. And I'm low-key hoping that they will leave my collection through my main project pan and then other ones will leave my collection through the seasonal project pans that I have planned for 2022. That was a lot of planning and panning in one sentence. Yeah, so that would leave me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Those two would be gone, so then I would be left with 17. And even if I got rid of like 
two of the minis that would then be down to 15 for leaving 2022. Do you know what? I feel all right about that. I think that's where we'll leave it today and we'll see what I do use up in 2022. And we'll see how things go and we'll see how the face covering life goes. Getting rid of nine as a result of today and that's moving in the right direction. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will speak to you tomorrow because I am indeed doing Vlogmas. I can't believe we're in the final countdown of it. Bye!